Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I did a video for the new event cards that came out, broke them all down, but we got to talk about the prime times because we got a lot of good ones. I actually pulled a few of them, um, and I think a lot of them are usable specifically for free-to-play teams. Also, guys, um, now that the Sharks uh, Pacific Cup event is over, the $25,000 esports tournament, my nights free up a little bit more, and I'm going to be streaming on my own channel a lot at night. Uh, probably going to be playing my Xbox free-to-play team, so if that's something that interests you, click the link down below. It'll probably start around 9 or 10 p.m. every night on top of my normal normal streams that start at 12 p.m. Eastern time every single day. Those aren't going anywhere. So thought I'd let you guys know on that. And again, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It does help me out. All right, let's get into today's primetime content. All right, we'll start first with the 86 Dylan Larkin, who actually fought Zach Wierenski today. It wasn't much of a fight, but just kind of funny because they are very, very good uh, friends in real life. And uh, actually, a weird story I saw on Twitter, or a funny story I saw on Twitter. Uh, Larkin actually, there's no, you're not allowed to, um, you're not allowed to bring your family members on road games. And Zach Wierenski, again, their childhood friends, uh, Zach Wierenski from Columbus was going to play Detroit today, and um, and Larkin actually left tickets for uh, Wierenski's family. So I just thought that was a really cool story, and then they ended up having a fight at the end of the game. Nonetheless, 86 Dylan Larkin. Larkin cards are always fantastic. Uh, 90 speed, 92 acceleration. His shot, though, is what takes the hit. However, he is a centerman, so uh, there are some more important factors at play here. Uh, with Thief activated, I love that they put Thief on Larkin because then it gets his face up, up to 92. And he's got Workhorse, making him an absolute force um, on the skates as well. His shot definitely does a lot to be desired, but this is a really good, cheaper option at center. Like, if we take a look right now, you could probably get him for a decent price. I'm hoping around 50k. Yeah, he's going to drop. So right now he's at 50, and this is the first day that it happened. So be on the lookout for that. That's not a bad value, especially if you have Thief activated. Then we've got the 86 Igor Sharangovich, six foot two, light the lamp and speedster. I actually pulled this card again. Free to play players. These are the kind of cards you want to look out for. Left hand winger uh, with. Speedster activating it up to 90 speed, 93 with distributor. It has 98 wrist shot power as well. Um, mid Haiti stats. The rest is all middling, but this is these are the kind of cards you got to look out for as a free to play player, especially on the left hand side uh, when you first start building your team. Like 160k. Wow. This should drop well into the 30s. I was going to say, okay, yeah, 30, around 25 to 30k is probably the max I'd go, but this is a really good card and, and one I'd watch out for today and tomorrow. Then we've got the 87, Keith Yandel, and man, they give him good synergies, but uh, good good for the Panthers to figure it out and get him in the lineup so that his Iron Man streak continued, and then he scores. Just an awesome story. Howitzer, wingman, this is a phenomenal card. Like, six foot one. the only downfall is that he's got 81 body checking, but because he's over six foot, it's not as detrimental, um, but speed, uh, shot, you know, the synergies that he provides, fantastic. Um, just a really, really good card. He is going to be more expensive than most traditional 87 overall cards uh, early on, but his value probably sits between about 100 and 115,000 coins. And I know it sounds weird for an 87, but those synergies are great um, and, and should be a good buy, absolutely. Then we've got the 87 Matt Dumba, six foot passing playmaker and shutdown. Uh, again, you probably want to see a skating synergy on him. I mean, shutdown. It doesn't really help him out because he's already got high body checking and, and shot blocking is not, not a stat that will ever mean anything to you. Passing playmaker. I mean, if you have passing playmaker and, sh and, and shutdown on, you could get his shot accuracy almost up to 90, which isn't bad. But again, these synergies aren't ones that you're looking to activate. Uh, if I packed him, this one's probably a sell for me. Moving on next, we got the 87 Travis Konechny, who's had a great start to the season. Has Workhorse, which is always a sought-after synergy. So um, gets everything up to about 89, and then with Distributor, obviously 89 as well. Um, not bad at all. Um, his shot, though, high 80s, which is okay. And then five foot ten with you know eighty five body checking. If you get Gladiator activated, it does help out quite a bit. But this just is a lot of mediocre stuff that I probably wouldn't look to activate or, or go out and grab. So if I if I packed him, I'd probably sell Connectney. Next up, we've got the eighty eight Brady Kachuk with shutdown and Howitzer. It's tough because like his speed is his skating is always rough in in this game so far. The like like I said last year, his fantasy card was literally my favorite card all year long. Uh, but that being said, with distributor gets it up to 89 speed, all above 90 shooting basically with howitzer activated. Defensively, he's good. You know, six foot three with 94 body checking. This is a stud left-handed defenseman card. Honestly, uh, he is going to cost quite a bit. I actually packed one um, and sold him for I believe about 150k. 100k going up right now. 
If he got down to like 80 or 90, again, that acceleration is tough because it's it's how you really take advantage of the wing. Um, but if you play a slower style, like uh, someone who uses a lot of TOA, kind of like Patrick Line A cards, this is a really, really good card for you. Following in, we've got the 89, Gabriel, Landis, Cog, Light the Lamp, and Wingman on this one. I'm not going to lie, Landis Cog cards have never been all that good for me. I just haven't been a fan of them. Usually they're too slow, and in this case, it's still they still kind of are. Um, his shot, his wrist shot accuracy is great with wingman and light the lamp activated. It's a decent synergy combo. Like this card borderlines on being really good. His speed is just, if he had a speed skating synergy instead of light the lamp, it might be really, really sought after. But if you have that 91, uh, Wayne Gretzky, you know, getting light the lamp on it, isn't a bad idea. And it already has two to it. So you're already close to activating. It's just that speed is kind of tough. We'll see what he's going for immediately in the auction house. I'm thinking about a hundred. Yeah, 109, 115, is there any under? 90, 89, yeah, 75 is where I would I would look. Then we've got the 89, Mitch Marner with Thief and Magician, and that's a tough, like, there has not been a great Marner card, in my opinion, this game. Uh, unfortunate, like, he's already got great hand stats, and he gets Magician, and then Thief is just pointless for him, in my opinion. Um, 89 speed is good, like, with, with team-based synergy, this is a good card, but, like, he plays so slender that I think that he has to have like elite skating or something to really separate himself. Six foot with 79 body checking at 170 pounds. He just blows over like the wind. It's basically like the, the Panarin card, uh, just a bit slower. So um, this would be a sell for me, but obviously as a Leafs fan, you know, there's lots of people that would enjoy using Mitch Marner. And then we've got the 90 OEL. I packed this card as well, and he is almost like inside the top like five among left-handed defensemen in this game with workhorse makes him extremely valuable again you're not really going to have gladiator activated more often than not but 89 speed before distributor with workhorse activated 91 acceleration you can get that even higher with a team-based synergies 93 slap shot power with 89 accuracy hand stats all right around 90 and then defensively at six foot two with 87 body checking and 91 stick checking 92 defensive awareness this is a great card. The problem is he's going to cost quite a bit, but man, this is like this like bridges the gap between um, you know him and uh, the uh, like base cards, like the middle, the the high end base cards and the low end event cards, and like Jack Johnson. Um, two like low two hundreds is a nice price in my opinion. So be on the lookout there. I think this is a really really good card and uh, one you should look to grab, especially if he gets under two hundred k. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's Prime Times. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And please subscribe for daily NHL content. I'll see you next time.